Welcome to another episode of the Online Prosperity Experience Podcast. You're about to hear your host, Prosper Taravinga's powerful digital marketing strategies and actionable tactics that you can use right now. Prosper has helped more than 50,000 people from over 10 countries to create meaningful businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Listen to this podcast so that you too can build your own business with less stress and overwhelm. Let's get started. How to master the art of communication in order to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, the goal for every entrepreneur is to create new business, create opportunities for their clients. And one of the things that makes people want to know, like, and trust us is our communication, how we speak, how we write and how we show up in the world is exactly how we can identify our target market and clarify our message and be doing have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, with that being said, I know you deserve a successful business that's profitable and enjoyable. And that's the reason why we're going to talk about communication in this podcast today. Now, look at this. People like Tony Robbins, people that um, have spent the big amounts of their lives learning how to actually influence others to be, do, and have a happier existence. They have to say this about communication. Tony Robbins himself says communication is power. Those who have mastered its effective use can actually change their own experience of the world and the world's experience of them. All behavior and feelings find in their original roots some form of communication. Because if you can't say what you want or mean what you say, nobody's going to know, like, and trust who you are. And as we all know, people do business with those that they know, like, and trust. So the onus is on you to make sure that your communication skills are at par with the people that you want to reach out to and the people that you want to influence for them to actually start working with you. Because that's the reason why a lot of people are struggling to grow their business. That's the reason why they're struggling to get clients and their uh, cold calling or DMing randoms out there just to get leads online. Let me tell you something. We now have in our hands or whatever tool you're using right now to listen to this podcast, the most powerful tool in the arsenal of uh, coaches and consultants and other service business owners is communication. If you know what to say, when to say it and to whom, man, you will have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. But it's not always easy to get it right because each of us is 100% unique. You know, even twins or triplets that you cannot tell apart, even though while their DNA may be remarkably the same, the facial, facial features are the same, hair color, eye color, and all that stuff, they're not absolute clones of each other. You know, there'll still be a few variables that the mother can actually distinguish who is Sally and who is uh, Lassie or, you know, if, if she has twins there, you know, and this is what makes people unique. This is what makes people an individual. Right now, you open your phone with your own unique facial features. You open uh, your phone with uh, a unique voice recognition, you know that not another person can use your thumbprint because you've got a unique, different, um, you know, um, uh, fingerprint. So even though people might look remarkably similar, but they're totally different. So what about the rest of us? All right. We're all different from our DNA, our physical size, our skin color, our background. Just about everything is unique. Um, to each and every one of us. And that's why security companies and security measures are using the retina scan, your um, individual, um, you know, uh, fingerprint, even a tongue print is totally different. So whenever you kiss somebody, they, even though they've been kissed by somebody else, that's unique to yourself because that's a unique 
imprint that you're leaving uh, on them there. And yet, we too often act as though how we see the world is how everybody else does when we've got so many unique uh, features uh, about us. Even if you look at your hand right now, no two fingers on the same hand are of the same height. Pull out your hand like that and look at it. No two fingers are of the same height. So why are we treating the world as if everybody should understand us or should get us or should actually know what we're trying to say even without having said it? You know, sometimes we use um, different mannerisms, different um, um, you know, explanations or different contexts and we expect other people to understand what it is that we're saying. We use terms that we only understand. We write um, as we would want to see it. And we're often surprised to find that some people have misunderstood us. And when we thought we were being clear, you know, like, like I speak a totally different language. I mean, if you're not from Zimbabwe, you see, you see, you, you, you probably were probably going into a, a daze and then you perked up because you didn't understand the, the words that were coming out of my mouth. All right, so I'm sure most of us can actually remember at least one time, either in your personal or in your professional area, when you actually misunderstood or we didn't understand what somebody was asking of us. Did we blame ourselves or did we lay blame on that other person because it's their fault that we're not understanding them? You know, certain that, you know, we couldn't have made the error ourselves. Nobody points the finger back at themselves. Do you take it upon yourself to actually straighten things out when you've had a misunderstanding or miscommunication on something? Do we take the time to learn from it and move on or to learn how to not repeat the same mistake? You know, so at the end of the day, as coaches and consultants, we're dealing with people that are going through stuff. We need to break the pattern. We need to show them where they need to head to. These people are going through pain. They're looking uh, for inspiration. They're looking for value. They're looking to be educated. Are we clear enough in order for us to get them to choose us so that they can start working with us? Because let me tell you something, man. Success wears many hats. And one of them is clear communication. Clear to the sender and clear to the receiver. If we cannot be clear about what we're saying or what we're trying to give as value to the world, then you can't get a reputation and you actually do get a reputation for being difficult to deal with. And who needs that anyway? So in this podcast, I'm going to try and give you three ways for you to actually strengthen your communication skills, which will give you better results that you want and help you look and sound like somebody who others want to be around. Have you ever seen those people that when they start talking, you're just like, oh, can you not just shut up? Because it's all about them. It's all about, um, you know, their problems. It's all about their, you know, and usually some of the stuff that they talk about is trivial. How are you communicating your message? How are you communicating your experience? How are you helping people by actually helping them in terms of how they understand it, implement what you're suggesting to them, all right? So maybe when you were growing up or when you were starting out your business or in everyday life, you've heard the acronym, acronym KISS, keep it short and simple. Like really, keep it short and simple. Gone are the days where you need to have, um, you know, dictionary speak, where you want to uh, one up the person that you're talking to, because people understand in the way that they actually speak. So if you're going to be using bigger words and bigger comprehension or bigger phrases, people are not going to take their time to try and learn that stuff. So keep it short and simple. No matter what you do, try and just get past the, the monkey brain and go into somebody's subconscious. But the only way you can do that is to make something very simple for them to understand. 
Because many, many coaches and consultants try to use big words. You know, they want to utilize expagorated, um, you know, vocabulary just so they can perpetuate a prognosis that other people can anticipate uh, future uh, productivity. And once you've got that uh, punctuation going in correspondence to the keywords that are actually, what did I even say in the last one second? Rather using... Rather than using big words, just go for everyday small words that a six-year-old can understand. Because no matter what, at any given moment, people stop learning at age eight or age nine. And that's the level of understanding that most of our clients are, whether they want it or not. Our clients are not as smart as we are. They are naive and all those things. So for you to break into their space, you need to break the pattern by going in with words that they understand, you know, and especially in business writing, when you're writing emails, you don't need to be a walking version of a thesaurus or a dictionary. Simple, easily understood language works best in most cases. We're now living in a global village where English is not predominantly the only language out there. And I'm calling you out if you think that's the way to go. Some people are actually being and thriving in their own native languages. I speak five different languages for crying out loud. So at the end of the day, if you're not being clear about what you're saying and saying it in the shortest words possible, guess what? People will just ignore marketing that is not directed at them. And nobody wants to sound or be made to look stupid. So at the end of the day, they'll just avoid you just so that they don't look like they don't understand what it is that you're talking about. So just keep it short, all right? And go after um, the little words that people can easily understand because our attention spans have gone smaller and smaller. So if you know that, that your clients are now, you know, not any smarter or better than a goldfish. You want to be clear also about your time frames. You know, you want to steer clear off of uh, terms like uh, I'll do it soon, I'll do it later, and especially the acronym ASAP. What does that stand for? Yeah, that acronym, that soon that, that stands for as soon as possible. It has led to a lot of unexpected results because you might think, by, you know, you, you know, you might think, say, if, if you want to do something by two o'clock or by tomorrow at five, but the other person might be thinking, um, yeah, when I get to it or, you know, or, you know, a certain unexpected or unrealistic expectation. Now, without clarity, there could be a tough conversation later about why something was done either too late or too quickly. For example, you know, um, recently a group received this message. If you don't um, read or look at the new policy uh, as soon as possible, we will shut down your services, you know? And the person in charge of this, um, you know, sending this message actually made a stuff up, all right? Because they send it out to people going um, out for their weekend. And people thought as soon as possible will be, okay, you know what? As soon as I get back on Monday. And guess what happened? Their service got shut down during the weekend because no one was clear about the actual time frames of when that, um, that service was going to be shut down. So communication is power, okay? And like what Tony Robbins says, those who have mastered its effective use can actually change their own experience of the world and how the world experiences them. So whatever you do, you know what they say, treat others like you want to be treated, which is basically um, short form for saying reinforce the wanted behavior. All right. Uh, many, many of others have heard others, or maybe let's say, maybe you've even said yourself, don't forget to do whatever. Don't forget to wash your hands. Don't forget to, um, you know, uh, clean your room. Don't forget to take the garbage out. But how many times has the person hearing it promptly done just what you're asking them? Forgotten about it. Because the first thing that you say to them is don't forget. All right. And that's what our brains have three seconds to understand. 
don't forget. And then they're usually doing exactly what they heard, which is the wrong verb that you want people to do. So verbs are powerful and a verb is a doing word. Don't forget. Forgetting is the thing that you're asking that person to do because that's what they have three seconds of their attention to listen to. Okay? So verbs are powerful words and they're often indicating an action. And our brain responds to them very well because our brains are action-seeking organisms. And even if incorrectly um, decoded, they will act on that as that's the thing that is supposed to be done. So no matter what we're trying to put across, what we say as a verb is what people tend to act on because they're trying to please us as uh, human beings. You see, I've got uh, little kids and just two weeks ago, I heard a young woman at a swimming pool do something that I thought was remarkable. Now, her kids, along with um, several others, were running around as, as, you know, as kids do, which Obviously, it's a dangerous thing to do at a swimming pool because if you slip, you might just fall and crack your head open. So for her, I mean, obviously, this was remarkable. She, instead of her saying, hey, kids, stop running, she called out and says, hey, kids, walk slowly, please. Now, the results, the kids stopped as, you know, they, 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 they hit a wall and they started walking slowly. And of course, being kids, they also started um, to run again. And each time she repeated in a friendly voice, kids, remember to walk slowly. I was actually astonished. And so I asked her about what she said. And she told me that she's a great school teacher. And she'd learned over time that telling kids what not to do reinforced them to do just that. All right. And, and if you tell them what to then do, you know, they'll do exactly what it is that you want. So ending her request with a verb, that was the opposite of what the kids, I mean, oh, that was the opposite of what she was asking, was doing immense harm. Saying don't run actually caused the kids to continue running most of the time, you know? So she actually learned to focus on the results that she wanted, telling them to sit or to read, um, you know, or line up for recess, whatever she was looking for, and it worked. And the other, um, you know, the other upside of this is that no one felt accused of being about to do the wrong thing. So the minute you say, don't forget to send out that memo, your voice may sound a little bit accusatory. You, the, the other person might feel like they've done something wrong, especially if this is a typical issue. You know what I mean? And even if your voice is steady or you talk like me because I talk in an animated way, you know, it's entirely possible for the listener to think, what? Does she really need um, to tell me that, you know? And 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 then when you and have I ever forgotten? So half of the time, when you tell somebody what to do, just make sure you use the verb that you actually want them to do, so that you reinforce the behavior that you want. You know, I mean, also you know, airline personnel um, experts in knowing to never say the words don't panic because when sometimes a scary thing happens like a plane falling off the sky you know suddenly dropping maybe several hundred feet or meters because you want to plant the very seed that you don't want people to do uh, when you mention certain things so they focus on the positives you know on the needed results helping passengers to stay calmer than they otherwise might be able to and they use the right language they call out and say all oh, passengers please return to your seats please buck buckle your seat belts and remain seated be sure to put on your mask before you help others all of this is positive and constructive language can you imagine if they say duck oh my god brace run what? can you imagine the panic that would start happening in that fuselage of course, the, 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 the passengers may be a little bit scared, but that language is at least not making them have a scary experience, um, you know, at, at the most. So we do what we're told. We don't have to even think about it. So when you have clear communication and you put across your words out there, it becomes both an art and a skill. And over the years, 
I've actually found that remembering that at least um, these three ideas that I've mentioned have actually allowed me to build a stronger and more positive bonds between myself, my kids and other people that I'm working with, you know, because at the end of the day, we are dealing with human beings and each and every one of us is on a mission to be, do and have a happier existence. What is it that you are doing and how are you communicating your brand message, your ethos, your values and everything else that pertains to wanting people to rally around you? Because the more you communicate with people, you actually now can be able to persuade them to be, do and have a happier existence. And how do you do this? When you can actually communicate well, you encourage people's dreams. And once you do that, you can be able to justify their failures. And in the process, if you're really good at communication, oh, you become a great marketer. So as a coach or consultant there, marketing is not just one aspect of running your business. You're hiring people, you're managing staff, you're balancing books, you're driving growth and more. And it feels like a constant balancing act where you're pulled in multiple different directions all at once. Communication now becomes the lubricant that makes you um, either a success or a resounding failure. You know why? Because the more you can communicate your needs and understand what other people are going through and how they need to be spoken to, it actually helps you know your message and actually um, have the aptitude to deliver it in such a way that makes it easy for people to actually understand what it is that you're, um, you know, trying to get them to talk, uh, you know, you, you're trying to get them to do. Because at the end of the day, your real goal is to help your clients. You want to spend as much time as possible changing lives and solving people's problems. You don't want to waste it with countless hours each and every week trying to navigate the complex world of trying to put your message across online. And you certainly don't want to spend yet another minute on the phone having to beg people to hire your services because they're not understanding what you're actually offering. Unfortunately, you don't have to go through all of that. All you got to do is, like I said, use the KISS acronym. Keep it short and simple. Get people to understand what it is that you're talking about. Be clear on your time frames. And pretty much once you understand that communication is actually a tool that you can use, you can start reinforcing wanted behavior. And guess what starts to happen? You certainly don't have to spend yet another minute on the phone begging people to hire your services. Unfortunately, I've mustered communication, so I don't have to do that. You know, it's not that I'm a genius or because I've become a master of persuasion. It's because I follow this simple framework and system that actually works. So if you um, look at some of the work that we're putting out there, we really understand who our people are. We really understand the pain that they're going through. We understand our products and we understand the payoff that we're trying to put across there. And the way we engage our audience and educate them is because we've mastered how to actually communicate our message. Now, let me show you how to actually start getting high ticket leads and clients on autopilot. You know, because we've created what we call the online prosperity method. And it's a simple system that I've developed by just throwing away the stale marketer's rule book and adopting a cutting edge new uh, approach. You are dealing with people. Remember, this is people with blood, flesh and bones. And they just happen to have a credit card, which is what we are after to increase our revenues. All right. And communication has helped me scale my business from zero where I came here with nothing but a backpack full of hopes and dreams to about 450 clients in the last six years. And I've got a staff of about, of about 16 people, all from different, um, you know, ethnicities and different cultures. And communication is what brings about this success. And for me to be able to reach out to you every single day is because I have discovered and you know, take advantage of this tool that is at, our, at, at, at all of our disposal. Once you start realizing that people are different, you know what I mean? Once you start realizing that success wears many hats and one of them is clear communication, clear for you, the sender, having an understanding of who you are and what it is that you want the other person to do. And you actually um, 
you know, make it super simple for them to understand. And while you're at it, you reinforce wanted behavior. Man, man. The best part about all of this method is that if it, it can be adapted to scale any uh, coach's business or consultant to seven figures and beyond. And I can show you how to use this system to skyrocket, you know, the growth in your service business. Okay. You definitely, after you can communicate, you start having a queue of dream clients who will climb all over each other to give you their money. You know, you'll be able to grow your business to the scale that you absolutely want. And this can be done within a short, um, you know, frame of time. Never have, would you have to cold call another client because people understand the value. They've educated themselves on what you're offering and they are now inspired because you've positioned yourself through your communication. You never have to send yet another email that gets ignored because you know what? People get it because you write the right headlines and you're actually reinforcing the wanted behavior. Trust me, you will never lie at work again in bed um, at night, wondering where your next client is going to come from. You finally start enjoying the growth of your business and the financial security. That actually means you can live the life on your own terms. And this is not like an unfounded uh, fantasy that only people like myself or Tony Robbins can enjoy. Does that sound good to you? Well, awesome. I'll go into more detail about this game-changing uh, method when you schedule a call with me um, and you know we can go through all of these things find out where you are and where it is that you want to be and how you too can be do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable all right let me tell you something I've won awards I have become uh, entrepreneur of the year I've become networker of the year in a country that I came with nothing but a backpack full of hopes and dreams. I've even been on TV and I've, I've done so much stuff that if you would look at my resume, you'd be like, man, how do you find the time? It's because I've mastered the art of communicating. But all of this pales to the comparison of the success that I've actually achieved for my clients. There's books that have been written about me. There's books that have been dedicated to me because I've helped people be, do, and have a happier existence. And now it's your turn. It is your turn. And I want you to discover how you can actually grow your service business from maybe where you are right now to about 2 million in just two years. All right. So just to save you some time right now, yes, the online prosperity uh, method that we have is all about communication and it can actually be tailored to your coaching or service business and it actually can explode your growth. Remember, you're just going out there to talk to people. All right. So any coach or consultant can actually achieve the same amount of mind blowing success that I've achieved uh, my client for my clients and I've actually helped so many people to achieve. However, it doesn't mean that I'm willing to take on just about any client. And I want to be clear about this because um, my client list is often full because my communication is on point. Okay. And often my calendar is booked way in advance. And I only usually have space for a few extra businesses that I can work with. So I'm only going to take on just a few people that are willing to work hard and actually follow their dreams because... Like the Australian teacher that taught me years ago, these are the sort of people who have what it takes and, you know, to succeed. All right. So if you are a coach, a consultant or business owner, and you have an established business with at least a hundred thousand in your annual revenue, and you possess a clear understanding of the value that you provide your clients, and maybe you are sick to death of having no control over how maybe your clients and your business uh, goes from week to week, year to year, and things like that. And you want to wake up in the morning with an inbox full of piping hot leads who are ready to buy uh, the moment you jump on the phone with them. And you're maybe not satisfied with your current level of success and you want to grow your business, um, you know, so that you and your family can enjoy a better life, work remotely, financial security, whatever you want. Book a call with me. I'll see you on the other side. Bye for now. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, let's continue the conversation in the Live Long Digital Community. 
Become a Live Long Digital Community Member today. This community is for ambitious entrepreneurs and small business owners with the drive to take control of the future of their businesses and achieve huge success without stress and overwhelm. As you heard, Prosper can help you by teaching you marketing strategies that work. So look no further than the live long digital community of entrepreneurs and highly successful business owners. Join our community today. Find us on www.community.livelongdigital.com.au. Network with other driven entrepreneurs and find the expert guidance you need to take your business to the next level. www.community.livelongdigital.com.au.